Good morning, everyone. Our opening song is out of the, glo the Glory and Praise, which is the larger book, number 619. 619, you are near. Oh God, I know you are near, standing always at my side. You guard me from the foe, and you lead me in ways everlasting. Lord, you have searched my heart, and you know when I sit and when I stand. Your hand is upon me, protecting me from death, keeping me from harm. Oh God, I know you are near, standing always at my side. You guard me from the foe, and you lead me in ways everlasting. Where can I run from your love? If I climb to the heavens, you are there. If I fly to the sunrise or sail beyond the sea, still I'd find you there. Oh God, I know you are near, standing always at my side. You guard me from the foe, and you lead me in ways everlasting. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, my brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. On this feast of St. Faustina Kowalska, we ask her intercession as we pray in a special way for the repose of the souls of Dan Novak and Father Edward Pythian. We also pray for Anna Maria Morris, who will be buried from our parish later this morning. For the times we fail to love God as we should, for the times we fail to trust in the Lord, we bow our heads and ask for his mercy. For Jesus is slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. You raise the dead to life in the Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You bring light to those who are in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who entrusted St. Faustina with spreading the immense riches of your infinite mercy, granted her intercession that after her example, we may truly trust in your goodness and generously perform works of charity. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Job. Job made this response to the words of the Lord. I know that you can do all things and that no purpose of yours can be thwarted. Who is this that hides counsel without knowledge? Therefore, I have uttered what I did not understand, things too wonderful for me, which I did not know. I had heard of you by the hearing of the ear, but now my eye sees you. Therefore I despise myself and repent in, in dust and ashes. The Lord blessed the latter days of Job more than his beginning, and he had 14,000 sheep, 6,000 camels, a 1,000 yoke of oxen, and a 1,000 donkeys. He also had seven sons and three daughters. In all the land there were no women so beautiful as Job's daughters, and their father gave them an inheritance along with their brothers. 
After this, Job lived 140 years and saw his children and his children's children for generations. And Job died old and full of days. The word of the Lord. The response, Lord, let your faith shine on me. Shine on me. Teach me good judgment and knowledge, for I believe in your commandments. It is good for me that I was humbled so that I might learn your statutes. Lord, let your faith shine on me. I know, O Lord, that your judgments are right and that in faithfulness you have humbled me. By your appointment they stand today, for all things are your servants. Lord, let your face shine on me. I am your servant. Give me understanding so that I may know your decrees. The unfolding of your words gives light. It imparts understanding to the simple. Lord, let your face shine on me. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The 70 disciples returned with joy, saying, Lord, in your name, even the demons submit to us. Jesus said to them, I watched Satan fall from heaven like a flash of lightning. See, I have given you authority to tread on snakes and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing will hurt you. Nevertheless, do not rejoice at this, that the spirits submit to you, but rejoice that your names are written in heaven. At that same hour, Jesus rejoiced in the Holy Spirit and said, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because you have hidden these things from the wise and the intelligent and have revealed them to infants. Yes, Father, for such was your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father, and no one knows the Son except the Father and who the Father is except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Then, turning to his disciples, Jesus said to them privately, Blessed are the eyes that see what you see, for I tell you that many prophets and kings desired to see what you see but did not see it, and to hear what you hear but did not hear it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the gospel wipe away our sin. Amen. The scriptures continue to teach us about Job, one of the most faithful people we will find in the Old Testament. And after being tested, today's scripture speaks about how Job was blessed even more than before. Those who are faithful to God will be blessed. Now, for many people, it's not in this life, the life that is to come. But in the case of our friend Job, God wanted to make an example of Job. And so as we pray the psalm, Lord, let your face shine on me, it attaches so beautifully to the saint of today, one of my favorites, St. Faustina Kowalska, the humble Polish nun who trusted in the Lord. Her very being was an example of a woman who followed this beautiful call to religious life and serving God with her heart, mind, soul, and strength, and that she is to be the disciple of mercy, telling all the world of my mercy. So the beautiful image of the divine mercy, as we have over our tabernacle, of course, is a reminder to us of the great love of God found in his mercy. I desire mercy, not sacrifice, God says. And so because God is merciful to the thousandth generation, we are so blessed 
with a God who is so quick to forgive and whose unconditional love for us shines forth. So may we, like she, the faithful friend of Jesus, St. Faustina, not only pray the Divine Mercy Chaplet, but also be disciples of mercy. That when people wrong us, that we are quick to forgive. That we don't hold on to grudges. For who are we to judge our levels of sin versus others? If we expect God to be merciful to us, then we need to be merciful to others too. So let us ask God to give us the same trust that Faustina had in him so that we, like she, like Job, like the righteous, may one day be with him in heaven. We offer our prayers to our gracious God and ask for his mercy. Our response, Lord, hear our prayer. For God's holy church, may the Holy Spirit inspire us to proclaim the gospel in our lives with the joy of the first disciples. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For the world and all national leaders, may God guide them in their efforts to protect the dignity and sanctity of life from conception through natural death, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who suffer with mental illness or other mental health challenges, may God provide comfort and healing for them, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For our faith community of St. Joseph, may God's providential love encourage and sustain us always, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all who have died. We remember especially Dan, Father Edward, and Anna Maria, the holy souls in purgatory, and all who have died. May God in his mercy grant them eternal life, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the intentions we bring to God from the silence of our hearts. Gracious God, we lift up these prayers to you and ask that you hear and answer them. Through Christ our Lord. St. Faustina Kowalska, pray for us. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, that will become for us the bread of life. By the mingling of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine which we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, that will become for us our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, of my iniquity. Cleanse me of my many sins. Thank you. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. Grant us, O merciful God, that this our offering may find acceptance with you, and that through it the wellspring of all blessing may be laid open before us, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence, by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, 
so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God, In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. By Jesus' mercy. the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jara, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember, Dan, Father Edward, and Anna Maria, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who were united with your Son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son. Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be always with you. Amen. Turn and offer one another a sign of the Lord's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us your peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free us by this your most holy body and blood from all our sins and from all that is evil. Keep us faithful to your commandments, and never let us be parted from you. Be
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. May the blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. For those at home receiving Jesus in a spiritual communion, I invite you to pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. May this heavenly mystery, O Lord, restore us in mind and body, that we may be co-heirs in glory with Christ, to whose suffering we are united whenever we proclaim his death, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Let us turn to our Blessed Mother as we pray. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan, and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Good Saint Joseph, ever watchful guardian of the Holy Family, protect the chosen people of Jesus Christ. Keep us free from the blight of error and corruption, and be our ally in the conflict with the powers of darkness. As of old, you rescued the child Jesus from the plots of Herod. So now defend the universal church from all harm. Keep us, one and all, under your continual protection, so that by your help and example we may lead a holy life, die a happy death, and come to possess eternal life in heaven. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace of Christ. There's no holy hour today because of Anna Maria's funeral, which take place at 10 o'clock. Oh God, I know you are near, standing always at my side. You guard me from the foe, and you lead me in ways everlasting. You know my heart and its ways. You who formed me before I was born, in the secret of darkness before I saw the sun, in my mother's womb. O God, I know you are near, standing always at my side. You guard me from the foe, and you lead me in ways everlasting. Marvelous to me are your works, How profound are your thoughts, my Lord! Even if I could count them, they number as the stars, you would still be there. O God, I know you are near, standing always at my side. You guard me from the foe, and you lead me in ways everlasting. God bless you. Have a good day.